Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another quick DIY. Um, so I have a bench at the end of my bed that needs a cushion. And instead of buying an expensive cushion from the store, I figured I would make a cushion myself using a body pillow that I got from Walmart and some fabric that I also got from Walmart. I did not know that Walmart actually sells um, like these yards of fabric already pre-cut and like they have like different like this one is four yards of fabric for four dollars but they have like two yards of fabric for two dollars or four yards of fabric for four dollars depending on the kind of fabric it is which I thought was cool I didn't know that they did that so I got this one it's like a tannish color it's like cotton or something I think um so yeah I'm gonna use that fabric to cover this body pillow in order to put it onto this bench at the end of my bed that my dog is currently laying on. So I'm going to put it on the top of the bench. Well, it's actually two ottomans, like storage ottomans that I've just pushed together. And then I'm just going to put one big pillow over the top of it. So let's see how I do that. Okay, so after unrolling the fabric, you can see it here, I just... I took it out of the packaging and then un unrolled it and unfolded it a little bit. It still is folded like folded over maybe one or two times. To come to find out, not only was the tan fabric included in the bundle, but there's actually a little bit of white fabric included in the bundle as well. So I just have them here laying across um, the ottomans that I'm going to um, make the pillow for. The bench pillow for um i'm probably not going to end up using this white fabric i'm probably just going to save that for something else i don't know what yet um since there is so much of that tan fabric that i want i'll just use that for the the cushion and then i'll save this white fabric for another project maybe in the future okay so now i have the fabric laid out from in one end to, of the ottomans to the other end of the ottomans you can see it reaches all the way across and then over here on this side I have it just like two to three inches overhang and you can see that the fabrics folded over once okay you see that there so I'm just gonna come to the side that has um, the most overhang down here I'm just gonna cut it about the same another two three inches down um, for it's hanging over um, and that'll be the top and bottom and the sides of the casing for the pillow slash cushion. And then with the excess fabric, I'm going to go ahead and make some strips because I want to make some ties to um, go on the sides of the cushion. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and glued up both the both long sides and this short side of the casing for the cushion okay and then I left this side unglued and so now I'm just going to flip the whole thing inside out and um, then I'm going to stuff the pillow inside and then um, I'll come back after I do that so now I put the pillow in, and as you can see, that's the side that's open. And this is the full pillow slash cushion. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the excess on this side, and then glue that side up um, so that it is fully encased. And then, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and style this cushion with the, um, my decorative pillows on my bench at the end of my bed and so I'll see you guys there. Alright y'all so this is the completed cushion. You can see it fits pretty much almost the full length of the bench at the end of my bed. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my decorative pillows back on and show you how I style it all together. <laughs> 